Alright, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat mga kabayan It is currently 6.26pm dito sa Edmonton, Alberta As you can see, napakaliwanag pa sa labas no? Maaro pa, trying to enjoy our last uh, few days of the remaining summer Welcome to the first day of the month, September 1 um, You know, really extra special day for me But you know what, we have to work, right? So we are here right now uh, on Facebook Live Para sa aking mga kliyente uh, The Lopez family ng Saskatchewan um, The Lopez family uh, approached me Looking to get pre-approved for a second vehicle uh, Kaso ang request nila sa akin is Is there any way that we can get a pre-approved for a vehicle Na hindi namin kinakailangan i-trade in Yung current na sakyan namin So sabi ko sa kanila Normally, given how strict yung mga banko ngayon It will mainly depend sa income nila Tsaka sa kung gano'ng kaganda yung quality ng credit Pero most of the time, uh, ina-expect talaga ng banko na yung existing auto loan kailangan i-trade in. Especially if may kamahalan yung gusto nilang bilhin na sakyan. So, we're not going from, you know, buying a, a Corolla or a Civic, no? They wanted a family SUV. So, sabi ko sa kanila, let me get to work. Uh, and, you know, I got them pre-approved. I got them pre-approved for the loan na hindi nila kinakailangan i-trade in yung existing car nila. And it came down to two options. We were looking at the Toyota Highlander LE all-wheel drive, which as you guys know, if I featured this vehicle before, uh, and, uh, completely redesigned siya for 2020. And the other vehicle that I love suggesting sa mga kliyente ko, which is the Subaru Ascent, right? So very significantly different vehicles, both family vehicles, both within the pre-approval na nakuha ko. And you know, at the end of the day, they're very loyal Toyota customers, so they decided to go with the Toyota Highlander. So here we are. Here we are uh, doing a Facebook Live video on the vehicle that they selected, which is the Toyota Highlander. So if I have any viewers out there that maybe were thinking of considering the Highlander, this video is for you guys as well. And of course, for the Lopez family, para makita nila yung asakyan. Para sabi ko nga sa inyo, hindi po tayo nagbebenta ng, ng empty promises, hindi tayo nagbebenta ng air. Right? Lahat ng videos natin, ay sasakyan para sa mga kliyente ko na they chose themselves na pre-approved na sila hindi po uh, walang ano, wala tayong bait and switch na pagdating sa kliyente sa delivery ibang asakyan yun darating sa bahay mo hindi po hindi po ganoon ang style ko so without further ado let's go a quick walk around sa sasakyan so guys you've seen me feature the Highlander before uh, and the last client natin it was actually the Platinum right the pinaka top of the line so this one here is the LE so previous years models ng Highlander the LE was the base model for 2020 it actually went down so the L is the base model there's LE XLE and of course the limited and the pinaka top of the line platinum so what we're looking at now is the LE all-wheel drive so still a quick walk around the sakyan so as you can see there diba napaganda ng kanyang redesign kumpara sa previous year's models niya I personally like yung bagong redesign niya And ako, you guys know, I work sa Honda I'm wondering the same thing When is the Pilot gonna get redesigned? Because the Highlander got redesigned And it looks really good As you can see there One thing I'm gonna point out, no? As you guys know, right? Parang sabi ko nga sa inyo multiple times Kahit anong brand pa ng asakya niyan Kung gusto mong brand new, kukulong natin brand new para sa'yo Guys, you can see Andiyan pa yung plastic <laughs> Ganyan siya ka brand new Pag sinabi kong brand new yung asakya ninyo Brand new siya So this one here As you can see there Naka Michelin tires All season tires po siya Okay uh, These are 18 inch rims Alloy rims Okay You got your turn signal lights dito So they wanted to go with the Blizzard Pearl White So ito yung, ito yung kinuha ko para sa kanila You got the privacy glass there So parang semi-tint Right Not the full limo tint Na cover na cover But semi You know Semi-tinted Comes straight from the factory now, unlike the Subaru Ascent uh, that runs a turbocharged engine, this one here runs on a 3.5 liter V6, uh, normally aspirated engine. So, just regular 87 grade fuel, right? Look here, the good. Highlander, LE all wheel drive. Ibang ganda. Definitely a vehicle worth considering, no? When you're looking for your next family vehicle. So, since dito tayo, let's start sa likuran. So, yun yung backup camera niya. So, for the space ng cargo space dito for a 8-seater vehicle, this is actually not bad. And I often use my own my own 2010 MDX as an example no, of very cramped um, 
cargo space for an eight-seater. So this one here is a 2020, of course. So you can see there's more cargo room sa likuran. What's more, you also get more cargo space here. Not so much, but may cargo space pa rin. And yung mga tools mo, kailangan mo kuhit ng gulong, andito lang siya. Madali mo siya makuha. Now, space-wise, how does this go down? Very easily. Taas mo lang to. It folds flat. So, flat siya. So, yan. Para sa mga kalalakihan na lagi nagtadahilan na kailangan ng truck, pagbubunta ng IKEA, I-fold mo lang yung upuan ng 7-seater, 8-seater na SUV. Kung nang bibili mo sa IKEA, kasha. Hindi mo kailangan ng truck. So, same thing din dito. 60-40 split po sila. Let's fold this other one down. Same thing. Really easy. Push that up. Fold siya ng flat. Diba? So, yan yung space sa likuran. Pag naka-fold siya, really good cargo space pag gusto mo mag-load. So, i-mubahan natin to. Punta naman tayo sa middle row, okay? So, middle row nung asakyan. Since this vehicle is a family vehicle. You got really good leg room. Right? Eight-seater siya. So, tatlo sa likuran, tatlo sa gitna. So, some people like that. Some people don't. Uh, ako, personally, gusto ko yung captain seats kasi mga anak ko very close. Magibinata na yung sa akin. They want their own space. But if your kids are small or if you don't like, if, if you, you know, if, if your family is okay with sitting shoulder to shoulder, right, this is actually not bad. And the one thing I like about this one too, since 60-40 split din siya, this actually independently moves forward. So you can see there, both sides, pwede mo silang slide forward if you want more leg room sa dikuran. And the one thing I like about this on the LE all-wheel drive, no, na wala sa mga ibang, um, starting trim level sa mga ibang brand is meron silang dalawang charging port dito. So it's not even the 1.5 or the 1.0 USB charging it's the 2.1. So it's really good. For modern devices, kailangan mo na yung ganyang klaseng charging port. Hindi na yung mga lumang charging port. You also get yung temperature controls ng mga nasa likuran. Wala nga lang siyang um, heated seats sa gitna. Pero at the end of the day kung bata naman ang uupo na car seat hindi right? mo lang kailangan ng heated seats. Now, and guys, what I said to you, new and new. This is plastic. Let's go on the driver's side. So one thing I'm going to point out too: blind spot monitors here, heated side mirrors. Okay, it's always nice. So ito yung sa driver's side. You got the power driver seat there. Nyan sa kabago. Ayon pa yung paperwork niya, kakan load sa train. So, i-start po natin to kasi actually hindi ko pa siya ini-start. Start natin siya. So, this one here, push button start, put your foot on the brake. Ba? Ang tahimik pakinggan. So, you can see yung mga tao, right? Seat belt status. Pag naka-seat belt ng mga tao sa likuran, you can tell kung naka-apply na yung seat belt nila makikita mo. So you can see there. Of course, this vehicle has the Toyota safety sense as well. So meron siyang lane departure warning, meron siyang um, rear traffic control, rear cross traffic alert. So kaya yun ang bagong screen dito, right? So not the color screen because those are on the higher trim levels. But again, this does what it needs to do, which is provide you yung data na kailangan mo habang nag-drive ka. You can connect your phone as well. This is all touchscreen as well. So you can see there, right? For reasons, how about this? When you listen on the Sirius XM app, Let's go home. Yung heated seat controls niyan dito. For the driver, front driver and passenger. Okay. Pag natin yung kanyang ano volume. So the one thing you're gonna notice no, sa, mga, sa mga Highlander na nawawala is yung CD player. So unfortunately they don't make Highlanders with a CD player anymore. You know, everything's going in the way of the future. So music is either streaming or through Bluetooth. Wala na siyang CD player. So as a CD player dito you got your temperature controls for the rear seats as well. You got extra two charging ports over here. Again with a 2.1 USB. It's a lot faster than the 1.0 and the 1.5. You got the US actual USB port here as well. This USB port here is for data. So if you have a memory stick, you have music, mo, 
dito mo siya sasaksak. Kung gusto mo mag-charge ng mga cellphone mo, dito sa mga to. Now, one thing na meron tong Highlander na the other previous generations did not on the LE is yung drive modes. So as you can see there, drive mode, you have the sport mode, normal, and eco. Okay? But aside from that, you also have these settings here. I'm not sure kung kita ninyo. Let's see if I can adjust yung camera ko. So you have the mud and sand, normal driving, rock and dirt. So the rock and dirt and the mud and sand as well as the snow setting here. Ang ina-adjust po nito is yung torque output ng asakyan. Different uh, driving surfaces needs different torque output to get the best optimal results. Right? So that's what these settings are for. Now these customization options, hindi available from the previous generations ng Highlander. So which is actually available on the LE which is actually very nice. So the auto stop as well, meron siya kasi the the, high, the Toyota vehicles are now equipped with the auto stop. So yun yung ibig sabihin niya pag mag-i-stop ka sa stoplight or mag-idle yung asakyan, the engine will shut down para for extra fuel uh, economy, right? You open the middle console here, so extra storage there. So hindi mo na siya nalilift pataas, it just slides open. So may extra charging port din dito sa loob. As you can see there, now I'll show you guys the backup camera. So yun yung kanyang backup camera, very good coverage, right? And of course, your standard Bluetooth controls sa steering wheel ayan dito. You also have your rear cross traffic alert, depende mong i-turn on, turn off. I could demonstrate to you guys. Actually, let's try. Kailangan kasi naka-seatbelt ako eh. See, i-detect niya kung di ako naka-seatbelt. So pag naka-red yun, ibig sabihin hindi naka-seatbelt. So i-seatbelt ako ngayon. Ayan, nabala na. So you got the digital speedometer, right? Distance to empty, of course. All the nice data that you need while you're driving. Andiyan din. So this one here is the safety features guys. So LTA is the, uh, the lane departure warning, right? Your PCS is the pre-collision system. BSM is the blind spot monitor. RCTA is the rear cross traffic alert. So you have all of those safety features sa sasakyan na to. Okay? Oh, and again, para sabi ko sa inyo, bagong bago, 5 kilometers guys. So since naka plastic pa siya, hindi pa siya dumadaan sa pre-delivery inspection. Pero, you know, as I said, pag sinabi kong bago, bago. If you na request ng kliyente ko, yan ang kukunin ko. Basta, kasha sa kanilang loan pre-approval. So, there you go. So, ayan, yung, yung rear cross traffic alert, lane departure, right? Yung, yung cruise control ay nandito. Ayan, uh, radar cruise control. Radio controls and all that stuff. So, everything's here. So, let's take a quick look sa engine. So, I'm not a mechanic, guys. So, I'm not going to talk too much about the engine in detail. I just want to show it to you guys. Oh, and one thing too, I think it's regular 87 grade gas. So, you know, ayan pa yung plastic. Oh. Protectado, protectado siya. Ayan po yung makina niya sa loob. V6 engine, as I mentioned. Diba? Check out the headlights, guys. Ganda, diba? And there you go. So, guys, this is the 2020 Toyota Highlander LE all wheel drive for the Lopez family. I hope you guys are watching right now. This video is for you. Congratulations, right? Um, you decided with this vehicle. So, I told you guys the pre approval fits. Hindi mo kailang it trade in yung current sa ninyo. And this is what you chose for your family vehicle. So congratulations. So let's do one last quick walk around guys. Para makita nyo. So kung kayo po ay interesado sa kanyang klase ng sakyan, kahit anong brand pa yan, parang alam dito nga, kasi nadami nagkwe-question sa akin eh, ano yung meron sa inventory mo? Huwag kayo mag-alala ko ano yung meron sa inventory ko. Basta meron na kayong pre-approval, kukunin at kukunin ko para sa inyo kahit anong brand pa yan. Parang ito, brand new na Toyota Highlander. There you go. 
So Lopez family, congratulations sa inyong choice. And para po sa lahat ng nanonood, if you're looking for your next new or used vehicle, just message me on Facebook. Let's get you pre-approved first. And once I pre-approval na tayo, a whole world of possibilities will open up. I promise you that. Hindi kayo restricted sa kung ano lang yung meron ako sa lote ko. Okay? Hindi po tayo typical na salesman, hindi tayo typical na dealership. We have a lot more freedom to give my customers a better choice sa mga sasakyan nila. Okay? So once again, this is Jerry Domingo, Specialty Finance Manager, part ng Wheaton Honda, owner ng Pinoy Car Talk sa Facebook and sa Instagram. And Lopez Family, here is your brand new 2020 Toyota Highlander LE all-wheel drive. I'll see you guys next week for delivery.